This video is going to give you the notes that you need to review for sequences and series. So we're going to start with arithmetic sequences. Arithmetic sequences have an adding or subtracting pattern. They have a common difference and they have a constant rate of change which is modeled after a linear function. So something, for example, 2, 5, 8, 11, and so on. The formula for an explicit arithmetic sequence is given to you here, and this is on the reference sheet, so you do not need to memorize it. But you do need to know what each piece means. So a sub 1 is the first term, n is the term number, and d is that common difference that I mentioned before. If you don't know your common difference, you can find it by subtracting any two consecutive terms. So for example, you could see here, hopefully, that you're adding 3 every time. But if I didn't know that, I could do 11 minus 8 gives me 3, or 8 minus 5 gives me 3. Our general recursive formula for an arithmetic sequence, remember with recursive, you always need two pieces. So my first term is going to equal some number, and then any term is always the previous term plus whatever your common difference is. And that's all about our arithmetic sequences. So for geometric sequences, geometric sequences have a multiplying or dividing pattern. They have a common ratio. They have a percent rate of change, and they model exponential functions. So, for example, something like 3, 6, 12, 24, and so on. Once again, your formula for an explicit geometric sequence is on the reference sheet, so you don't need to memorize it. A1, still your first term, just like before. N, still the term number, just like before. The only difference here is R, and that's your common ratio. If you don't know your common ratio, instead of subtracting, you could always divide. So hopefully you see here we're multiplying by 2 every time. But to find any common ratio, you can divide any two consecutive terms. So for example, 6 divided by 3 gives me 2. 24 divided by 12 gives me 2. And our general rule for recursive, remember we always need two pieces, so A1 is a number, and then any term is the previous term times your common ratio, which more commonly is written with your common ratio as a coefficient in the front, like that. So that's your information for arithmetic and geometric sequences. Recursive sequences can be used for arithmetic, for geometric, or for neither. They could just be a pattern. So this type of sequence always uses the previous term in order to define the next term. You always have to have two pieces when you're writing a recursive formula. An initial term, so typically we use a1. Every once in a while you may see a sub 0 instead, but that's your starting term. And then you have to have a formula using the previous term, which is typically shown with a sub n minus 1. And there are two examples of that on the front 
um, of this packet because I showed you what it would look like for both an arithmetic and a geometric. And then lastly, we have a series. Remember that a series is the sum of a sequence. So if my sequence is 2, 4, 8, 16, and so on, the series is 2 plus 4, plus 8, plus 16, and so on. We're going to look for keywords in questions like this where you see total amount or sum. The formula that we use most often is the S sub N formula, which once again is on the reference sheet. So you don't need to memorize it. You just need to know what everything stands for. So A sub 1 doesn't change. It's still my first term. R, because we're talking about a geometric, that means it's multiplying. So R is my common ratio or what you're multiplying by every single time. And N is your number of terms. Just in case the sigma notation does come up, this is how it's written. This funky looking E is the sigma. It's a letter in the Greek alphabet. This part here is just your geometric sequence formula. And then you would also need to identify your parameters of what value you're starting at. Typically, we start at 1, and then we go to whatever value if we're finding the first five terms or the sum of the first 10 terms, something like that. So that is all of your information for arithmetic and geometric sequences, recursive sequences, and a geometric series.